Do me a favor. Listen to this story. This is a story about a young man. A young man who likes to sing. And ever since he was a little boy, all he could dream of was singing. He would sing in the shower, sing in the car. He didn't have the best voice in the world, but it was good enough for him. And when he was old enough, his dad bought him his first guitar. And then the kid learned to make some noise. He released an album. And as he grew into a young man, he released another album. And then two more. But see, no one really listened to his music. His family and friends were supportive, but other than that, he kind of felt like a failure. He couldn't help but compare himself to the countless other artists that had managed to find success where he couldn't. This, combined with the loss of a loved one, sent our young singer into a deep depression. But with pain comes art. And so, he spent the next three years crafting what he believed was his masterpiece, his magnum opus. But just before releasing it, he got scared. He realized, what if this one failed like the others? What if no one listened to it? Our young singer couldn't stand the idea of a lifetime of chasing money. He just wanted to sing. He refused to be mundane. So he came up with a plan. And that brings us to today. I refuse to be mundane. It's me. I'm the, I'm the boy. Here's the plan. Well, that's where Russ comes in. Before Russ blew up, he actually released 11 albums. 11. He gained traction after releasing a song a week, and in doing so, he blew up in less than a year. And when he finally did blow up, he had an album that he was ready to drop that he knew people would listen to. Like, whether you like Russ's music or not, you gotta respect this work ethic. It really made me look back on myself and think, Oh really? You bitter? You bitter because you haven't made it? Off the work that you didn't put in yet? Stupid? Put the work in. So here's the plan. I'm gonna write, produce, and release a song every week for the next year as well as doing all the art and marketing for the music. The key is going to be consistency here, and it's not something that I've been really strong at at the past, but I'm hoping I can change my habits with this. And once I've gained some traction on my music, well then, and only then, can I release my newest album, Son of David. Until then, we have a lot of work to do though, so um, let's get cooking. Starting a song is always the hardest part, at least for me. But my dad recently gave me this wicked electric guitar. He found the neck was just a little too heavy for him when he wears it with a strap, and it is pretty neck heavy. So, for now, it's mine. So I've been toying around with this, and honestly, this thing has given me a lot of inspiration. It's just a whole different tone than acoustic, and it's a lot more fun than programming MIDI. So that beautiful thing, combined with the Adrenaline 2, uh, this thing was basically a beat sinker, an amp modeler, drum box, there's a whole bunch built into this thing. But I, I basically just use it for the built-in amp models so you can get some really nice, clean sounding tones. I usually end up throwing a distortion plugin on afterwards as well. My personal favorite is the Decapitator plugin. Just gives that guitar a little bit more bite. I find the best way to start is just get some chords that sound good on their own, because if the chords sound nice, everything you build off of there hopefully should sound nice. <laughs> After that, we're off to drums. I personally hate MIDI drums. I'm really bad at it, and it's really hard for me to escape this like robotic sounding drum kit sound. Um, trying to get better at it, but yeah, MIDI drums, they kick my ass, so I usually end up just using drum loops as a crutch, but then that also sounds really loopy, so it's really, yeah, I think the play might just be to get like an electric drum kit here soon, but um, anyway, this is what I ended up with. <laughs> Next we start writing, I'm the type of person where whenever I have like a little hook or an idea or for a lyric when I'm like driving or about to fall asleep, I force myself to write it down so that when I do sit down to write, I have ideas to go through. And this song started no differently. I had an idea recently for a song called Wake Me When I'm Famous. I also just like the name of it. It felt kind of like a play on words of like, wake me when we get there type thing. It just had kind of a, I don't know, a nice ring to it. I just wanted to make like a feel-good backyard party summer type song, something you could listen to on a road trip. Something that's easy to just bop your head to, you know? The first verse and hook came really quick, and I love when a song just writes itself like that. Kind of 
The second verse took me a while to come up with. I was just like blocked for like two days. I just couldn't come up with anything. I did eventually come up with something nice and I also added a little pre-chorus and bridge section. I showed it to a few friends and everybody was liking it, but the general consensus is that the chorus needed to feel a bit bigger. So for the second and final chorus, I took another guitar take, but with a much more aggressive tone. I also added a delay to the chops on the final chorus to kind of build more sound. As I was listening back to it though, before mastering, I still felt like it was missing a few things. So I doubled that guitar on the second and last chorus, just to make everything a bit wider. And I added a bass by just plucking on my electric and pitching it down. As far as mastering goes, I'm trying to keep things very simple for myself, especially because I'm challenging myself to release a song every week. I've opted to mix into a soft limiter and a compressor. I know, hate me, I get it. Some people will disagree with that heavily. And look, if it was normal circumstances and I was sending it off to be mastered, I wouldn't do this, but that is not the case. I'm mastering myself and I am shit at mastering. So I'm making my life a bit easier by mixing into a limiter, okay? I Okay, just let the hate comments come in. It feeds me, come on, do it. Although it's frowned upon, it does make the mastering process for me a lot easier. I can simply add something like limiter number six, which has built-in compression and a true peak limiter, and then the reviver plugin to bring back some of that punch, and that mid-tone and some of that shine. Mastering can be incredibly complicated, if you want it to be, but it can also be incredibly simple these days. I even dropped the unmastered version into Band Labs because they have an auto mastering plugin. I just wanted to see how it sounded. And on this tape master preset, it actually sounded really nice and warm. For anyone afraid of mastering, don't be. There are free tools out there that can make this process really easy. All that really matters is that it sounds good to you. After mastering, it's time to make some album art. I originally liked the idea of like a post-it note or like fridge magnets. I also played around with the idea of using one of those like I Spy picture books as like a, a setting for an album, but it just felt a little too busy. So instead I went with the fridge magnets. I traced a rough cutout of the lettering that I decided to go with, stuck it on the side of my fridge, and then I stuck a grocery list and a Polaroid picture of my girlfriend on the fridge. I actually just used the side of my fridge because I didn't want to take all the stuff off the front and the texture on the side is the same anyways. Add a lamp for some light and bam, kitchen photo op. Now that I've got the perfect album cover, it's time to upload it all and get started on editing this video. I also have to make a few promotional videos for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. No one said this was gonna be easy. Being a musician these days seems to be a lot about online marketing, but hey, if that's the game I have to play for my music to be heard, I'll play ball. Without any further ado, I give you Wake Me When I'm Famous. Please enjoy. I spent the last nine years Living the same day in the past eight months Swallowed up in self-hate Living the same way Hoping things will change No one else to blame but me But me Used to be me versus the world Now it's us versus my heart us versus this fucked up and outdated art And I'll try not to drink and I'll try not to start shit But baby you know it's me It's me So I'm back on my bullshit I'm back in the garden I'm back on that tunnel bro Where that old party started yeah. Can't seem to take it Everybody's fake shit I'll just be here waiting Thinking wake me when I'm famous so I'm back on my bullshit I'm back the pain. 
painter and paint you in new You'll be the canvas and I'll be the brush Paint you in still life like girl there's no rush So you'll be my heaven or you'll be my moon I'll be the hunter and hunt you some food Together we'll thrive, dance on the moonlight Together we'll thrive like this paradise I can't take it, God, your gracious Perfect face and you're so precious Ooh, I'm back on my bullshit, I'm back in the garden I'm back on that twenty bro Everybody's fake shit I'll just be here waiting Thinking wake me when I'm famous so I'm Back on my bullshit I'm back in the garden I'm back on that tone of pro Well that whole party started I can't seem to take it All this everyday shit I'll just be here waiting Thinking wake me when I'm famous Let's light it up like kerosene I say that music is my dream But really it's just dancing up a storm For all of you to see Take a shot of self-esteem Another shot for my beliefs A pinch of I don't give a fuck And baby what you get is me Let's light it up like kerosene I say that music is my dream But really it's just dancing up a storm For all of you to see Take a shot of self-esteem Another shot for my beliefs A pinch of I don't give a fuck And baby what you get is me So I'm back on my bullshit I'm Back in the garden, I'm back on that tunnel of road Where that old party started, I can't seem to take it Everybody's fake shit, I'll just be here waiting Thinking wake me when I'm famous I'm back on my bullshit, I'm back in the garden I'm back on that tunnel of road Where that old party started, I can't seem to take it All this everyday shit, I'll just be here waiting Thinking wake me when I'm famous Back on my bullshit, I came here to party so let's get this shit started Can't seem to take it Everybody's fake shit I'll just be here waiting Thinking wake me when I'm famous Back on my bullshit I'm back in the garden Back on that tour of road Well that old party started Can't seem to take it All this everyday shit I'll just be here waiting Thinking wake me when I'm famous hope you like the song and the video of course and if you do um, there's gonna be links in the description to hopefully by now it's just out and you can listen to it um, but if you're list if you're watching this video like as it's released it might not be out yet on some platforms so there's a pre save uh, but of course you're always welcome to come back and listen to this video if you want to listen to it until it's out on all platforms uh, that being said thanks for watching guys hopefully I'll see you next week peace out <laughs>